Today we're going to be breaking down, in my opinion, the best defense in Madden 25 that is not nickel double mug, and it is dollar. And we have a full dollar ebook on our school platform. That dollar ebook is going to be updated throughout the year, so you always have the best version of it. But I'm going to show you a specific blitz today that I really, I really like a lot. Uh, again, this out of dollar three two, and we're going to turn our auto flip off and our auto alignment to base. And then what you're going to do down here on the line of scrimmage is you're just going to put super fast guys at the on the D line. Speed is the most important thing in this game. So you want like safeties, fast safeties here. You want uh, fast defensive ends like linebackers like C.J. Mosley. I think this guy. Um, Qu Quincy Williams, I want to say, uh, for the Jets. And then Red Reddick's going to be our DT. So you see these are kind of the guys we want in the game. And then what we're going to do here is we are going to come out in this play free safety zone blitz. You can turn your coverage shell to cover two. And basically what's going to happen here is we're going to try to get a four-man blitz. So we, you see how this kind of comes down like this? We don't really want to do that. All we want to do with our adjustments here is we're going to press. We're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to use her this right side guy, and then we're going to take that safety, and we're going to put him in a hook zone and shade underneath. Now, in this game, I like to shade outside and underneath, but it doesn't really matter for the blitz. So I'm standing right here, and what you'll see is this A-gap has potential to come in. Now, right there, it did not come in. I am going to show you at the end of the video that this A-gap does come in in-game. I have a couple of clips that I want to go over, but this right here is really good. We'll try it a couple times here in practice mode. In practice mode, it just doesn't come in super consistent. It's more of like an in-game blitz from what I've seen. It just doesn't – I just have found that it, it's not super consistent in practice mode, right? Uh, but what what really is consistent in practice mode this year? So you can also send the slot corner, kind of turn it into a five-man blitz. You see that if the A-gap doesn't come in, then that slot corner oftentimes will come in off that outside. If you were to get like super like in the A-gap right here, this might help the blitz. I'm going to try to hold. It's super hard to use with this because basically what you want to do is you want to hit right trigger as soon as I'm holding left trigger with my user, and then I'm going to hit right trigger and run towards the guard here. You see, it kind of creates that isolation with that guard on the left side. And then from there, either you can send the four man like I've been doing here, or you can send five by sending the slot corner. Or you see here again, send five, and that time the slot corner is trying to come in and the uh, A gapper was trying to come in. So, as I said, this is a little bit more of a gameplay-specific um, blitz, and I am going to show you that. I'm going to show you some gameplay clips, but I just wanted to show you kind of the base setup in, in practice mode, and then we'll get into some gameplay clips. Okay, so the, for the first gameplay clip here, you see I'm the Jets, and this is going to be a five out, and you're going to see that this blitz setup is going to work pretty much as I, I said it will. So you see here, we don't even have to be in the right A-gap. You see, we just get this guy screaming through the A-gap, and we're able to get pressure uh, with this five or with this four-man pressure, as you see, super effective. This next clip of the Blitz is, I'm pretty sure, a blocked running back on the right side of the screen. So the running back's going to be blocking, but he is on the right side of the screen. As you see, the four-man comes in, and we're able to uh, get that pressure. We'll show you that again. See how I'm standing in between, in between the guard and the tackle? And what I'm doing with my user is I'm holding left trigger, and then I'm going to essentially – Take one step down into the right and hold right trigger while I do that to kind of engage with the guard on the right side to pull him to the right to open up the lane for this A gap to come in. You see, we're able to do that right there and we're able to get the uh, the pressure. Now, this next setup is, or this next blitz breakdown here is going to be this blitz. And what you might be thinking is, well, probably the best way to block it is to block the running back on the left side. And it is the best way to block it. However, it's not 100% consistent. And what you're going to see right here is they're going to block the running back on the left side. And you see that this blitz is just going to come in and we're going to get that pressure. So show sure that again, this is the running back blocking on the left. I'm standing here to the right side. Super important here that we're holding that right trigger to kind of trigger that guard. And you see we're able to get that pressure in at the quarterback. This defense is super, super effective. If you guys want my full dollar defensive ebook, make sure that you join the school community. It's been updating all year long, and we've just been continuing to drop the best defenses in the game in the school side. It's only $10 to be a member, and I put a ton of energy into this first couple of days that the game has been out of breaking down good defenses, trying to find good blitzes, trying to build good coverages for you guys. Because obviously offense right at this point in the year is a little bit easier than defense. But if you can find a good blitz, you can pretty much play defense. This blitz right here is one of the best in the game. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to check out my full dollar defensive ebook, make sure that you join the school community at the link in the description below.